Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to use PiaScore. This is what it looks like. Um, this is an app that's available on self-service and when you have this app you can store all of your sheet music on your iPad. So if I open this up you can take a look at all of the sheet music that I have. So let's figure out how to put our music into PiaScore. I'm going to start by going to Schoology, opening up our class and looking at the materials page and you'll see this sheet music folder right here. If I tap on that folder, I get more folders that pop down. There's one folder for each song. So let's say I want to download Ninja and I'm a cello player. I'm going to tap on the Ninja folder and open the cello part. And you'll be able to see the music on screen right here. You need to tap this button to get the option to open in. And then PS score should be in this menu. As soon as you touch that button, it opens PiaScore and your music appears right here. Now, if you don't like all these numbers in your title, you can touch this little eye right here and hit the edit button and then you'll be able to change whatever the title is. And then you would just tap save. When you open your music, it looks like this. You have some tools on the side and down on the bottom. And the best thing about PiaScore is once your music is in here, you don't need to have Wi-Fi to read your music. It's all stored on your iPad. Um, if you want to, you can even write on your music. I just hold down in the center of the screen and I get this menu that pops up down here. Um, so you can draw whatever you want on your music. It helps if you take your fingers and pinch out to zoom in. And then you can write um, without it being so tiny. And You could write in some note names and when you zoom out, the letters are easy to read. Alright, that's how to use PS score.